Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I'm here with my Week 12 picks. And we're going to have a slightly different format this week, something I wanted to try out. Um, hoping that you'll leave a comment. Let me know if you like it better than the uh, other way that I was doing it. But no guests this week, so let's get on with the Week 12 picks. Hello sports fans, I'm back again and here you can see is my turkey board. This is my new board that I'm going to use this week for the picks this week. And we are going to take what I think is the team that's going to win and I'm going to put them over here on the winner column. And here you can see that uh, this was uh, last week and on the year. The... Uh, Last week I was six and eight. What? You're going the wrong way! He said we're going the wrong way. Oh, he's drunk. How did he know where we're going? Six and eight again for the second time in three weeks. And on the season I'm 94 and 66. And got um, almost 59% of my picks correct. But not quite. So, let's get into the picks. All right, so here is the pick board. And as you can see, the first games, as traditionally, or at least for the last few years, uh, last several years, there will be three games on Thanksgiving. The first game, as you can see, is going to be the Texans and the Lions. And in that game, I am going to go with the Lions. So we're going to put the Lions over in the winner's circle. And, uh, I mean, the Texans, they've been, you know, they've been uh, erratic. They got a good quarterback, but, you know, I don't know. And the Lions have been playing tough. Even when they lose, they seem to play tough. Now, you've got the Washington football team versus the Cowboys. Here, I'm going with the Washington football team. I like them with, so now you got to see that they're over here. And by the way, how do you like the turkey? That's my rendering of a turkey. So um, you've got the uh, Washington football team joining the winner, the Lions in the winner circle. I think that the Cowboys, they, they're still not as impressive as they were last week in their win. Um, I like, um, you know, with... Uh, um, you know, the, the, the Redskins have been playing well um, of late, and I think that they can beat the Cowboys. So the next one you got, the last game on Sunday, you got the Ravens, or uh, the last game on Thursday, on Thanksgiving. You got the Ravens against the Steelers. I am not going against the Steelers. There is no way. We're going to put the Steelers over there in the winner's circle. Um, with the Lions and the Washington football team because I am not picking against the Steelers again until they, at least until they lose and maybe not even then. So now you got the first Sunday game. You, you're looking at the Chargers against the Bills. And I'm going to go with the Bills. The Bills should win this game. I know uh, Herbert's been playing really well, but... Uh, the rest of the Chargers, I don't think that they're up to the task of beating the uh, the Bills. Now, the Titans and the Colts, that's a tough one. Because I really wish I knew which team was going to show up for both of them. Uh, the Colts just came off a big overtime win against the Packers. And the Titans, I think, I don't know. I don't remember what the Titans did last week. I know I got their game wrong, whatever it was. But I'm going to go with the Colts. They still have a pretty good defense. Um, and they, they played really good defense in the second half last week against the uh, Packers in winning that game. 
The next one you got is the Panthers and the Vikings. And against my better um, judgment, I am going to put the Vikings over in the winner's circle and say that they will beat the Panthers. Even though the Panthers seem to win, like, they didn't have Bridgewater last week, but they still um, had a shutout. So, they, in fact, they I think they shut out the Lions. So maybe I shouldn't have put the Lions in the winner's circle. But anyway, I digress. Um, now, the Browns and the Jaguars, you would think, common knowledge would say, let's go with the Browns, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go with the Jaguars. I'm going to put them over in the winner's circle. I just have a feeling about that game. I can't even, there's nothing I can quantify. I can't say that they have a better quarterback. I can't say they have a better defense. All I can say is I just got a feeling that they're going to beat the Browns. And the Browns do have a knack at times for being inconsistent. So the next one you got is the Giants at the Bengals. This one now is an easy one. If, they, if the Bengals still had Burrow, who is now out for the season with a knee injury, I think. If they still had Burrow, this would have been a tough one to call. But I don't think it is with Burrow on the, uh, you know, on the IR. So, not a tough one there. So, let's go over to the Cardinals and the Patriots. And this one, I don't think this one's hard for me. I'm going to go with the Cardinals. Cardinals going over in the winner's circle. Um, I don't, uh, there's no way I see the Cardinals losing to the Patriots. Dolphins at the Jets. Now, the Dolphins were very disappointing last week in losing to the Broncos. They lost that game. I feel like that was not good. <laughs> and they were probably expected to beat the Broncos, but they are definitely definitely expected to beat the Jets. So we're going to put them over in the winner's circle. And then you got the Raiders against the Fa the Raiders against the Falcons. I think this is a no-brainer. You're going to go with the Raiders. That's an easy one. Next one you got is the Saints at the Broncos. Uh, could be bad weather, could be snow up there, who knows, but I'm still going to say the Saints. Uh, Taysom Hill and whoever else, if, if Winston plays, I don't care. I think they're still better than the Broncos. They should beat them. Next one you got is the 49ers and the Rams. I'm going to go here with the Rams. The Rams were impressive in beating the Buccaneers last week. I had picked the Buccaneers, in fact, to win the game, and I was wrong. So I'm going to pick the Rams again against the 49ers that have been beaten up all year. They've had injuries. They just aren't the same 49ers they were last year. Next one you got is the Chiefs at the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers, who I just mentioned, lost to the Rams last week. I'm going to go with the Chiefs. I think the Chiefs are going to figure out a way to beat Brady and the Buccaneers, even though he's seen them quite a bit. And now we got the Sunday night game. Look at that Sunday night game. You got the Bears at the Packers. <laughs> yeah. I think we're going Packers, definitely. We played them in the third game. Everybody played three quarters. The Bears are who we thought they were. And that's why we took the damn field. There's no way... There is no way. That's my lock of the week. As a matter of fact, I'm going to say that that's my lock of the week. That the Packers are going to beat the Bears on Sunday night. They just have no offense. Doesn't matter who the quarterback is. They just can't figure it out offensively. They're a mess. So, they're great defensively. But any real good offense, and the Packers have that, should be able to score a lot of points on them. And now that brings us to the Monday night game. You got Seattle at the Eagles. I don't think this is a tough one. You're going to go Seattle. So that's our winner circle. Sorry, I got my thumb in the way or my finger. So there is the winner circle right there. These are the teams that I am picking to win. 
And over here, these are the teams that I am not picking to win. Take a good look. So hopefully I will do better than go six and eight, which as I mentioned, I have gone six and eight two of the past three weeks. I went six and eight, then 11 and three, and then six and eight again. So 94 and 66 on the year, just over 58%, just under 59% of my games right. Not horrible, but really hoping to get it up with these picks this week. So what did you think of that? Let me know below. What do you think of the new format? I mean, I'm not really married to this format. It was just the way I wanted to do it for this week. I don't know that I'm going to make this the, uh, the permanent way I do it. But I thought it would be nice for a change of pace. No guests this week. Just me and my magnet board and my magnets. So let me know what you thought. Let me know what you think of the picks. Let me know what your picks are. But for right now, that's it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.